Venables Year Langston Battle Marathon as they begin now to make the run to take them across the straight and roll the waves in front of Blue Wind's Lady and they're followed by Just a Penny. After them as I will excel and towards the outside comes Fresh Focus and making ground up the inside is Battle of Marathon but in the lead is Battle of Waves now being chased by Battle of Marathon. I will excel towards the outside beginning the run now to the final 200 yards and hitting the front is Battle of Marathon and Colm O'Donoghue going a couple of lengths clear chased in second place by I will excel in third rule the waves and up towards the finish battle of marathon and colin o'donoghue win by three lengths to i will excel beginning the run now to the final 200 yards and hitting the front is battle of marathon and colin o'donoghue going a couple of lengths clear chased in second place by i will excel in third rule the waves and up towards the finish battle of marathon and colin o'donoghue win by three lengths to i will excel rule the waves is third result of the first race the irish stallion farms european breeders fund maiden one, four, seven. Number three was fourth and number five was fifth. They're on the approach now to the turn of the straight, two and a half to go. And case Sarah Sarah. Fran Berry just on the inside of Comtesse and Pat Smullen. Two lengths then to intense debate on the outside of Happy Gathering, Royal Memory, Firestone. Racing on now with a furling and a half to go. Case Sarah Sarah on the rail, Comtesse the near side. These two battling it out, being followed now by Royal Memory making ground down the outside. Comtesse hits the front, but Royal Memory putting in a big effort now down the outside as they race up towards the final 150 yards. And it is Royal Memory from Comtesse Firestone. Stone also putting in a big late bid. Royal Memory just holds Firestone. Comtesse hits the front, but Royal Memory putting in a big effort now down the outside as they race up towards the final 150 yards. And it is Royal Memory from Comtesse. Firestone also putting in a big late bid. Royal Memory just holds Firestone. Comtesse is third. Result of the second race, the Irish Stallion Farms European Breeders Fund, Phillies Maiden. 6 2 1. Number four was fourth, and number five was fifth. They're on the run now for the approach to the three, and beginning to make the entrance to the straight. Mansouri leads beyond brilliance, being followed by Pit Stop improving on the outside of Focus as they race now for the home turn. Mansouri from beyond brilliance, and on the outside, Pit Stop in between them, Focus, Muscle Beach, straightening up for home now, and beyond brilliance coming to join Mansouri with Pit Stop quickening up on the outside, racing now towards the final furlong, and beyond brilliance on the far side of pit stop these two in front of Mansouri inside the final 150 yards beyond brilliance on the inside from pit stop there's not much between them and racing up towards the final 50 yards beyond brilliance on the far side pit stop the near side very close racing now towards the final furlong and beyond brilliance on the far side of pit stop these two in front of Mansouri inside the final 150 yards beyond brilliance on the inside from pit stop there's not much between them and racing up towards the final 50 yards beyond brilliance on the far side pit stop the near side very close in third is focused result of the third race the Leopardstown summer music and racing festival handicap two one five number four was fourth and number three was fifth as they make the run for the approach to the straight is Shreto and there followed on the inside elusive award and on the outside is Nisha with Corner Council the back marker they're on the approach now to the turn in and have a nice day leads from in second place now Neustra Allegria on the outside is Shreto and Lakela towards the inside and then Carenza and Nisha down the outside have a nice day in front, Shreto beginning a run, Nisha towards the outside, racing now towards the final 200 yards. Have a nice day on the far side, Nisha now coming to challenge on the stand side and puts her head in front as they run up towards the finish. And Nisha and Kevin Manny will go on to score by a couple of lengths, Shreto possibly just second on the near side. Have a nice day in front, Shreto beginning a run, Nisha towards the outside, racing now towards the final 200 yards. Have a nice day on the far side, Nisha now coming to challenge on the stand side and puts her head in front as they run up towards the finish. And Nisha and Kevin Manny will go on to score by a couple of lengths. Shreto possibly just second on the near side of Have a Nice Day. Result of the fourth race, the Heathers handicap. 6-3-2 and a photo for fourth place. 6-3-2 and a photo. Brendan Bracken found in a view in second place, followed by one spirit, big break on the outside. Then wannabe better Eastern rules and... Let her more. 
straightening up for home now and Brendan Bracken leads them off the bend big break in pursuit of the leader one spirit is racing in third and Eastern rules down the outside beginning the run now towards the final furlong Brendan Bracken now from Eastern rules on the outside of big break as they race now towards the final furlong want to be better and from the back Littermore is putting in a big bid from the outside Eastern rules Brendan Bracken and in the center want to be better three-way go towards the final 50 yards want to be better is going to get there on the line for Wayne Lord and Eastern Roads and Brendan Bracken beginning the run now towards the final furlong Brendan Bracken now from Eastern Roads on the outside of big break as they race now towards the final furlong want to be better and from the back Littermore is putting in a big bid from the outside Eastern Roads Brendan Bracken and in the center want to be better three-way go towards the final 50 yards want to be better is going to get there on the line for Wayne Lord and Eastern Roads and Brendan Bracken result of the fifth race the Ballycora Stakes Seven, three, one. Number four was fourth, and number two was fifth. Baroni and X with Castlebar Sling, and then comes Madame Mo. Day of Destiny just behind them with Sharjah Pirate Cove picking up ground between horses. They race off the turn now, and Panama Hat leads from Spring Focus in second. Mezzagiorna was third, then Harmony Pirate Cove trying to make ground on the outside, beginning the run now towards the final furlong. And Panama Hat from Spring Focus, Mezzagiorna, Pirate Cove putting in a late bid down the outside. Panama Hat and Spring Focus, Pirate Cove still staying on up the center racing now to the final 150 yards Panama Hat Spring Focus and Pirate Cove as they run towards the finish and Panama Hat's going to last it out to win for Chris Hayes from second home Pirate Cove in Panama Hat and Spring Focus Pirate Cove still staying on up the center racing now to the final 150 yards Panama Hat Spring Focus and Pirate Cove as they run towards the finish and Panama Hat's going to last it out to win for Chris Hayes from second home Pirate Cove in third, Spring Focus cleared of Madame Mo Baronia. Result of the sixth race, the Leopardstown Club members handicap. 13, 7, 10. Number four was fourth and a photo for fifth place. As they race now on the approach towards the straight, Draco is the leader. Out in front, Ashjar, Moondice, Forney. That's the plan just behind them. Silver Pockets and St. Gervais next. As they race now for the turn into the straight, Draco being chased by Moondice. And tracking them is Ashjar with Forney, St. Gervais towards the outside. That's the plan beginning to stay on. Draco's in front. St. Gervais now beginning a run towards the near side. Forney and Moondice are next, but it is St. Gervais who's come right through them now for Derek O'Connor to lead. The long-time leader, Draco, as they race up towards the finish. And St. Gervais has gone on now by three to four lengths and running to the finish. St. Gervais will win it. Draco holds on to the second spot from Silver Pockets. Forney and Moondice are next, but it is St. Gervais who's come right through them now for Derek O'Connor to lead. The long-time leader, Draco, as they race up towards the finish. And St. Gervais has gone on now by three to four lengths and running to the finish. St. Gervais will win it. Draco holds on to the second spot from Silver Pockets, Moon Dice and Forney next ahead of That's the Plan. Result of the seventh race, the follow Leopardstown on Facebook, QR Maiden. 8-3-16. Number five was fourth and number 11 was fifth.